I want to let the listeners know before we started this pod, <laughs> he would not stop talking about. Well, don't bring it up. I wait, 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 I gotta bring it up. Okay, in a hypothetical situation, <laughs> where no, you, I could film a fucking music video with three guys. Doesn't mean I've been sucking and them, right? Like it doesn't do anything. Hey, maybe you have. You know who knows. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Binge and Cringe. It has Woo! been an extended dry spell, but we're back, mostly because I need to know what happens next in Glee, and Kants won't spoil it for me because he doesn't want to ruin the podcast. I, I definitely don't want to ruin the podcast at this point. And his name is, is Joe. His name is Joe. Oh, true. <laughs> you got my name wrong. Yeah. Get fucked. Yeah. Uh, it's been so long yeah. since we've done this, you forgot my name. There's, there's actually a group of people that are out here, Stan, trying to spoil things for you. Uh, what? I've they've left messages in Discord, and I've had to ask people to delete Discord DMs. Sorry, Discord okay. messages in the like general chat. Uh, really, in case you saw them, <laughs> which is That's so very funny. funny. Uh, yeah, they were like, "Hey, did you know that when you said this, actually, this is what happened to the episode?" I was like, "No, no, 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 no don't spoil it." Oh, because yeah. I have found, I've been playing, for those of you that maybe are only binge and cringe fans, I also stream on Twitch.television, and I play daily games. I play Wordle, I play Time Guesser, and I will say, people love to spoil. People want you to know yeah. that they know the answer, even if they just got it by playing it earlier in the day and realized what it was. Actually, you didn't know that was Norway, not <laughs> Finland. It's like, what are you doing here? Yeah, it sucks because I think there is a big difference between people that, like, uh, or that know the answer and just want to tell you the answer who have played the game yeah. before and people who are seeing it for the first time with you and trying to work it out with you right yeah like, but you can't you can't, can't tell the difference. like do that i'm playing the game not them like if you want to work it out yourself you can't type it in chat right yeah stans there's been a lot that's happened uh since we did the last episode it's not been that long since we did the last episode um sure but it's I'm going to tell you, it's been long enough that I forgot all the characters' names again. <laughs> so, <laughs> Of course you do. I said that uh, I wanted to know what happens in Glee. I'll be honest, I haven't thought about Glee for one second <laughs> since the last recording show. Hey, Not even, well, I, it didn't even pop in my head. A lot of people have been thinking about Glee. <laughs> Just you haven't been, clearly. Correct. Because, yeah. did you know, Stan's Glee is in the zeitgeist? In the zeitgeist. Dude, I don't. This this is what I come back to. <laughs> How is Glee in the zeitgeist? Um, because the Super Bowl happens, stands, and there is unironically. Uh, I, okay, I was gonna say three. I think there are only two, yeah. but there's two okay. Glee references that happen during the Super Bowl. How crazy is that? Okay, uh, was is a Glee reference just the fact that Leah Michelle was in a commercial? Was Leah Michelle in a commercial? I, I don't know. I was guessing. I was trying to figure three, it out. Was there, if so, were there actual mean, references? I don't think. Well, what do you mean by in a, in, re in a rehearsal, in an advert? I thought she was. For some reason, I thought she was. Um, I mean, I, I want to look that up now, because mm -hmm. if that's true, then ding, ding, ding. I'm, I need to fucking watch it. It's Glee's in the yeah. light, guys. No, it wasn't a good commercial, if I remember right. Well, it doesn't matter if it's a good commercial. If it's a commercial for the Super Bowl... Uh, I also don't think she was, so... Oh, good, good. So what What did you want to say? Why was Glee in the Super Bowl twice? Um, because... Uh, who, was, who was the queen of the Super Bowl stands? You can answer this. Uh, Travis Kelsey. So true. Who's yeah. the, uh, the queen of the Super Bowl's girlfriend? Uh, that would be Taylor Swift. That would be Taylor Swift. There we go. Yeah. Um, who is Taylor Swift's friend from the Super Bowl? <laughs> Blake Lively. Yes. Who did she dress <laughs> up as to go to the Super Bowl? I didn't know she was dressed up. She had a big chain. Uh, well, technically, she wasn't dressed up, but you tell me she is not cosplaying as Sue Sylvester in this fucking it's video. So, this is what you call being in the zeitgeist. <laughs> she is not cosplaying as Sue Sylvester. Uh, okay. She might not be, but the tweet... Yeah that has 2 million views saying, who That's said Blake crazy. dressed as Cunty Sue Sylvester? <laughs> that is in the zeitgeist, okay? Fair, fair. And you also- That's a good tweet. That's a good tweet. She's dressed up as Cunty Sue Sylvester, right? Yeah, she, she's looking something. 
I don't know what Blake Lively's up to. I thought she was married to Ryan Reynolds, but now I'm, she is, is he married, married to, to Ryan Reynolds. Mendes? That's why I oh, was okay. so confused when I saw this. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck's Blake? I was like, does is this just like one of Taylor's like childhood friends or something? I looked at it, I was like, right, no, it's that would be Blake the stands Lively. to Taylor Swift's Ludwig. <laughs> Who's this guy? Yeah, that's what yeah. I was. It was that right. I thought it was mm-hmm. just the stands, but turns out yeah. it's like a really famous person who I know. Yeah, you've never watched um, Gossip Girl. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I know who she is. That's why I'm, I just didn't oh. recognize her because all I was looking oh. at was the fucking Sue Sylvester girl. Yeah, you were Sue Sylvester pilled. That yeah. tracks. That actually tracks, yeah. Um, but like I said, that wasn't the only thing, Stans, because that would be crazy, right? It, that's not in the of zeitgeist. Of course, one so thing, just like one it tweet. would be crazy for you to bring it up on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, in fact, there was a commercial with someone from Glee in it. Uh, okay. And I know that you saw well, the hey, Super Bowl. it wasn't Bowl. Finn. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Wasn't Santana either. Yeah, <laughs> that's the stupidest thing you've ever and said. Dare I Puck. say yeah. it wasn't Puck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What was <laughs> just to be clear? Just to be clear, it wasn't them. Yeah, it wasn't them. Uh, should we list yeah. off all the dead people? Or uh, I, I think I did. I think that was it. In yeah. the world? No, of the people in Glee, of course. Of, yeah, because they're course the only people. people that matter. Yes, I, I, you know what? True. <laughs> um, I actually. So obviously, you seen the Super Bowl stands, uh, and yes. you did say you were watching at what Ludwig's house or something. There was a party. Um, yeah, Ludwig had a Super Bowl party, and so we were all watching the Super Bowl. Although I will say I did not hear the commercials because it was yes, loud. That's it was, what I was say. You there. said it was very yeah. loud, so you didn't hear the commercials, yeah. but you would have seen the commercials. Uh, however, I don't think you would have realized that this person was in Glee. I don't think you would have recognized them at all, even with me showing you this. I don't okay. think you would even know who in this picture is supposed to be <laughs> from Glee. That's Beyonce, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, but the guy that's holding the lemonade in the Beyonce sure. commercial is yeah. the guy that doesn't say anything that's in the Glee Club. Mike Chang? No, the other guy that He's doesn't say out. <laughs> the, uh, the less really? memorable guy that doesn't say anything. How, did you, how do you recognize him? He doesn't look like anyone who would be in a Glee Club. Uh, well, I didn't recognize it because I didn't watch the Super Bowl or see any of the commercials, but uh, that tracks, that someone tracks. tweeted us out. It's, it's him. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but he's in the zeitgeist, dude. Um, How many likes does this have? This also could just be made up fake news. Uh, 5.4 million views. So That is a lot. That is a lot of views. Oh, wow. When you see the picture of him next to him, it does kind of look like him. Um, it's There was uh, a quote retweet that was so fucking funny. Uh, mm-hmm. So let me find it because the the reason that this has 5.4 million views isn't from this tweet. I'm going to tell you, yeah, it's definitely not the tweet itself yeah, because this, this literally just says likes. the actor from Glee is in this, yeah, uh, yeah. and it has five million views. So that mm-hmm. something doesn't add up there. Um, right. It was the tweet that I saw it paired with that is the reason it has so many uh, views. But mm-hmm. I think that that tweet was deleted. I'm trying to find it. You're you're faking tweets. You're faking tweets for money, dude. You've always been like this. Because uh, I don't want to fucking I don't want to paraphrase the tweet because it was so funny and I can't remember it exactly. I, I, I think they've deleted it. That's so cringe. Okay, uh, the, the tweet that quote retweeted this one was something <laughs> along the lines of "You have to be so fucking gay to see a random dude in the background of a Beyonce trailer and go, that's the guy from Glee." <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that. <laughs> That's why I want to find the tweet, dude. And I think I am him. paraphrasing and changing some of the wording because I think there was that a is... lot of words in the original tweet that I couldn't yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, and I appreciate and applaud you for not saying them because yeah. you always wanted to. If I want to let the listeners the know before we started this pod, <laughs> he would not stop talking about this fake situation in which he has been put well, on a don't stage. Bring it up. We didn't talk I, about it. No, 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 no. I got to bring it up. I got to bring it up. Gotta bring it up. And you said, is it better to say a slur that is true? Dude, we all had the same conversation that you said not to have in the podcast. Don't it bring can't it be the start of the podcast, podcast, but it can be 10 minutes in. I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay, we can move on. In a hypothetical situation. Where <laughs> no, you- we can move on. We can move on. We can move on. I'm with you. I'm done. I'm done. You can't bring it over and then get annoyed at me when I start talking I'm, about it. I'm done. 
Uh, yeah, there wasn't. Uh, you need to stop slurping from a straw. I stands. love Diet Coke. Here's the thing. This is my last Just drink it like Diet a Coke. normal human being. What are you, a fucking five year old toddler? You don't it need to It tastes better through a metal straw. Have, this guy's never had something through a metal straw, listeners. I'll tell you, it is delicious. Great. Don't use it in a fucking podcast. It's the, the only I, way that you can drink something that I is loud. I will never sacrifice on my Diet Coke. <laughs> For this if podcast, the, if there is another slurp from that, I am just quitting the podcast in general for the rest of eternity. And but this how are never we going to know again. what happens with Finn? Right, exactly. Like, spoiler, he dies. Okay. <laughs> ah, in real life, but not in the show. Well, maybe in the show, actually. <laughs> not in the show. What would they do? He could go to college and just never talk to them again. Uh, yeah, I have told you he doesn't do that though. So, yeah, I think you probably have. So those are the two Glee references. Um, mm-hmm. but I did want to bring up something as we're talking about the Super Bowl. Um, okay. Alicia Keys had a performance. I don't know. You were saying you couldn't hear the commercials. Could, did you pay attention? Were you there for the uh, performance? I saw the second half of the Usher performance, basically from roller skates and onward. And I know a little bit. I heard Alicia Keys beefed a note. That's she all I know. did. And unfortunately, yeah. it was like a starting note and there was nothing else mm-hmm. playing. Uh, and it was pretty noticeable, but they've changed history stands. Yeah, they, they, the new version of it is completely redone, right? You can't hear the bad note anymore. Yeah, so the the like upload that's on YouTube, and it, uh, you can you can see it in this. It's fucking crazy yeah. the difference between like the two versions, but also uh-huh. even more crazy because you can't hear where like the change is, where it goes from one version to the other version. Zombie. But I don't. Some people want it all, but I don't. You know, I have always been, and you get frustrated with me. I have always been a no American musical performances are real because of things like this. And to be honest, most times Super Bowl late night TV, a lot of that shit is just like lip synced. Uh, but yeah. this showing it's real. I like the bad version way better. And it makes me respect Alicia Keys and the Super Bowl more. Yeah, regardless, I, I think changing it is so fucking cringe. Cringe, um, yeah, yeah. Because straight up cringe. then there's like, what else are they changing? Uh, it's, uh, there's very mm-hmm. fucking. This conspiracy. is how conspiracy theories yeah, start, know, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Are they I'm kind of cooking because if they change this, like if this person yeah. didn't catch this, and if it wasn't like such an insanely fluff note, um, mm-hmm. it, it almost for the worse. Like if there was not necessarily a fluff note, but there was a bit more of an emotional performance, but w- they didn't hit like certain notes or whatever. That could yeah. be there could be a performance that gets completely erased because they're like, oh, we need the pitch perfect version. Let's re-upload it with a different thing. Um, Bro, even further, what if we lost Kanye West saying President Bush doesn't care about black people? You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things that exactly, they could just like yeah. we're editing this out because it's live. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, there's there's a ton of things that like it's it's scary and it it reminds me it doesn't remind me but like it's mm-hmm. it's similar to like the conversation around ai and that kind of stuff where yeah can you trust what you see exactly kind of and we're yeah, getting yeah. to a point where you can't and this is this is sans ai right like i i think there might be a tool that is able to seamlessly weave the start of the performance like the start of the note into the actual performance that sounds good. The fact that you could be, have you seen um, <coughs> the the latest thing that I've seen is like every time there is a new iteration of AI video, uh, mm-hmm. they make a video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. The spaghetti, yeah, yeah, from the like the old one, one of the original AI video, original, yeah, one of yeah. the earliest it looks viral awful, AI videos, but like in a yeah. funny way. Um, mm-hmm. And then the most recent one just kind of just looks like a video of him eating spaghetti. Yeah, and it's the, pretty good. The spaghetti good. moves in like a bit of a weird way, so you can kind of tell. But at a first glance, you couldn't tell at all. And I feel like we're getting to a point where everything's kind of fucked, you know? Uh, yeah, it's freaky. There was definitely there was a moment with photos that I remember like, uh, you'll remember this because we're like a couple of years apart. Um, sure. The, you like, are a little bit older. I didn't want to admit it. <laughs> yeah, I'm older. Yeah, yeah, yeah fucking yeah. boomer. Like photos used to be like, oh, if there's photogra- photographic evidence of something, then mm-hmm. they've clearly done it. There's no way you could fake that. Um, yeah. And then Photoshop came around and people like, this was like when I was growing up, I remember like hearing people be like, hey, well, that could be Photoshopped. And like any time that there was evidence of anything, someone would go, Photoshop though. Uh, it's like yeah. the new version is AI now. Like, oh, well, that just could be AI. 
It's but before I like I think before it was like if there's photographic evidence like we believe it so much so that people believed in Bigfoot and stuff like that and then yeah. it became well if it's on video it's real and now we're exactly. seeing exactly like, yeah the levels are going up especially yeah. because like uh, with photos it was like oh photos fucking it could be Photoshop you know they can fake that shit but if it's mm -hmm. a video there's no way you can't Photoshop a video right. Um, yeah people literally said those words before yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and now it's the ai is the thing where like you don't even have to photoshop the video because you might sorry you don't have to photoshop the the image because the image could have been made from scratch by ai and now yeah. the video can be too and the audio and the the voice changes and stuff it is i think um obviously there's been a ton of stuff with like presidents and whatnot uh, of yeah. like voice changes. I, I, the only good use of AI is Donald Trump versus Joe Biden in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, actually, no, the Overwatch, so Overwatch parody is the best. The Overwatch one is better. He's like, uh, you've been pocket fair all game and you haven't healed me. It's <laughs> so fucking funny, bro. And I, I you shouldn't even say that because that's how they get you in. That's how yeah, they get right, you into exactly. accepting AI. But I think it's so funny. Uh, but I, I don't think AI is there where it can like actually affect like a presidential election or anything currently. Um, sure. Because it's just a meme for like fucking Overwatch and that kind of stuff. But the fact mm -hmm. that it, the like that Will Smith video and shit like that, like the fact that it's that close, I think like future president, like the next election, fucked. There's no way when we're trying yeah. to fucking get Trump out of the White House for the second time, it's fucking done, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's it's weird. <laughs> Um, also, how weird. does that work? You can't have more than two terms, but is it consecutive? Can Trump get no. two now, or is he done? If he gets well, I mean, one he more. hasn't won yet. I know you really want him to win. He's, he's going to win, let's face it. If he wins boy, one more, he's done. I'm rooting he's for done. him. <laughs> yeah, weird thing to say. Weird thing to say on this pod, but you know what? Power to you. Uh, yeah, sorry. You, you, you said... the answer, uh, He'd be done. This would be it. You get two terms. Uh, they don't have to be consecutive. They can be split in the middle, um, but you only get two terms. All right, that's good. Uh, now so, theoretically I think you could be a vice president like the longest you could do is 11 years because if you're like one year you know what I mean if you're vice uh, president and then you become president then you run then you run but I'm not I'm not even sure about that could a, and I'm a political science graduate could a president <laughs> become a vice president or is that like crazy I think that if you serve two terms no I don't I don't actually know I, you know what I don't know That'd be, I, Trump would be the kind of guy that would be like oh I'm gonna be the vice president now <laughs> like if I can't be president <laughs> anymore <laughs> I don't think he would be vice president because he I mean he would murder the president you know what I mean he would not want to be second he doesn't want to be vice anything uh yeah but he would he'd be like second and always be like yeah I'm the guy I'm the guy really they're all puppets right. I'm the shadow the government yeah yeah, yeah yeah fair fair you know what fair but that is scary to say. Well, it would be okay. Then the AI that is going to be affect the next election will be good mm -hmm. because. Oh no! I was going to say because it will stop Trump, but we Trump will already fuck. Hmm. Yeah, hey, nothing uh, stopping the storm. If by the Trump way. doesn't get in this election, then yeah, he, he runs will again, definitely get in the next guess. election. No, because he'll, he'll probably be dead. And this is not yeah, me not like, saying dead. I'm going to assassinate him, but he's he's just getting old. He's getting old, man. Uh, he is. But what, like, if there was something that was going to get him in, it would like the addition of AI. Like, if if Trump supporters can figure it out, we're fucked. You know. <laughs> sure okay before we get on to glee stuff stands this I is a glee to... podcast by the way in case anyone's, uh, <laughs> so if anyone's still listening this is a glee podcast uh hey let us know in the comments what do you think about trump and being re-elected do you think <laughs> ai will be, be the baby we're gonna get demonetized on this video <laughs> and now we're talking um so another thing that happened since you since you went away i don't since know since you've been gone kelly yeah, clarkson yeah. style um yeah. since we lasted the podcast is stream rewards mm -hmm. happened um oh true and uh someone asked you on stream about like what goes on behind the scenes and stuff um mm -hmm. and i think my answer was who the fuck i don't know i was there as a guest <laughs> yeah, a, a yeah. dignified guest um but i i wanted to I, I was just like i wanted to ask you this so i figured i'd ask you on the podcast and either okay. you could tell me and we could it or you yeah. could tell everyone um mm -hmm. but like respectfully what do you do <laughs> sorry me like for a job yeah oh oh if i told you i'd have to kill you you know that's crazy 
what uh, well, do the, the, what I do? You do? Well, what like, don't I, I do? You I, know what I mean? It's I kind of have more, of more of an idea than most people, but I feel like most sure. people don't have any idea, which is why I stop yeah. asking more broadly. If you're listening to this and wondering why I'm qualified to run a Glee podcast, I would say first... <laughs> Anyone can do it. And I would say second, my day job is as chief strategy officer at a company called Off Brand, whose goal is to like make cool shit in the creator space. Uh, one of the things that we produced is the streamer awards. Maybe you don't even know who streamers are or whatever. Um, my job is typically to try and be connective tissue between like the different muscles that we have because we have like a really good production team. We have a really good creative team with Germa. We have a really good uh, face of the company in Ludwig. But a lot of times it's hard for the production team to get answers, right? Or a lot of times it's hard for Ludwig to remember what's actually going on in the day-to-day. -day. And so my job is kind of like to stand behind everyone. You know, in the old days, the firemen would have that big trampoline for when a building was on fire and then people had to <laughs> Wait, jump out of the, the building. trampoline? I am, I, yeah, I'm the trampoline, exactly. I'm like kind of Yo. like a fireman holding a trampoline running around and, and trying to like make sure that things are working. And the good thing is when things are working, when buildings aren't on fire, I don't have to hold the trampoline. So sometimes you can just go to the streamer awards and kind of hang out. Yeah. And I think uh, like the the upside of that is that you get to be involved in a bunch of really cool things and mm -hmm. see like, oh, I was like involved in every step essentially of like this thing and you knew all yeah. the moving parts. And then like you said, you get to enjoy it. Um but the bad side is you have to be involved in every single bit. <laughs> so, yeah, it's so much work. It's actually just it's it's too much work. I'm a I'm just a little baby. I don't need to be doing this much work. I should just be going live on Twitch and stealing TV shows from big corporations. Yeah. But instead, I have to send emails and stuff and pay taxes. Well, the this thing is, is, you're doing both. <laughs> well, that's the, true, that's the yeah. craziest part to to me. Yeah, that to... that can't last. I'll say hey, I'll say it here <laughs> where there's less people listening. That can't last. Something's <laughs> got to give. I was just about to say, what is this? You self-denouncing retiring? What the fuck? What, from which? But I don't know from which one. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know the answer. Oh uh, no. Yeah, it's just like, man, I'm tired. I'm waking up at six thirty. I'm going live. Yeah. I'm scarfing down some lunch and I'm doing meetings. And then I think this could all work if I wasn't like high-strung anxiety because. The second the events are over, I'm like on LSF. Like, what did people think? Did they like this? Did they like this thing here? Yeah. Well, uh, so I, just, like, I also think like that is natural. Uh, I yeah. tell you off for doing those things because I know that there's no benefit for it. But if I was doing those things, I'd be on LSF looking at it the same. So right, right, right. I I can. I, I'm not saying it from a like um, uh, on my high horse. Like, how dare you do it? It's more of a like. Right. You, for your sake, don't do it. Like this, yeah, you should. It can you should not with your because, mental. or yeah. mainly, you can as long as you are able to say that their opinions don't really matter. You're just trying to get like a public perception of it. Um, that yeah. their opinions don't matter in the sense of it shouldn't affect your mental, right? Like, yeah. And if it but does it affect do. your mental, then maybe you shouldn't be looking at the thing. Mm, but I will. This is yeah, so know, inside I baseball know, to I'm people just... watching Glee. <laughs> This is so no, but this is not. Again, we are not a Glee podcast. We are a podcast yeah. where we watch Glee. We talk about other yeah. things. We spend sure. fucking we did a whole episode about whether we should wash let's our hands. Let's talk about Sloppy Joe's piss. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, you know what, what I mean? Did. I don't want to think about what I'm going to quit next. <laughs> um, the stream rewards got me uh, also having a fucking existential crisis, like you stands. Oh, how so? Um, because this was like the first year where I was like, "Who the fuck are these?" like oh multi-million yeah. famous Jinxie. streamers that i've never heard of <laughs> oh yeah they're so much bigger than anyone on twitch it's, it's yeah jinxy queso yeah. uh liam i don't think won any awards but he won like creator's favorite i'm like who the he's just fucking yeah. called liam sorry dude, just yeah can liam get, like, he's fucking Bill Mario. Next? who the fuck is this guy it's big Liam, dude. Are you kidding me? You don't know Liam? The Come only on. clip I've seen is when he got nominated for stream rewards. He said, uh, <laughs> oh, cutie didn't remember I told her to kill herself or something. I was like, what the, <laughs> who the fuck is this guy? Why is he telling you to kill herself? This is crazy. That is classic Liam, to be clear. Yes, I gotta I say. I'm yeah. like, sure, that's classic Liam, but that's the only clip I've seen. And it's crazy for me 
because this is like my job revolves around this and these streamers yeah. have been like famous for a year and i hadn't heard of them until the biggest streaming award show is like they're nominated right. for streamer of the year i'm like what yeah, the- i mean you're not a child this is not an insult like they their no, audience I'm, is just younger uh, yeah. that's what i'm saying i'm like fuck that's i'm out of the loop now i, I was like right Ludwig's been saying it a lot where he's like, I've been getting older and you can't like relate to the kids for like for, for the rest yeah. of your life. And he was talking about he has like a lifespan on his creator thing, which mm-hmm. I will call him out for. He does say every year that he's got five years left. Five years. Yeah, it's so funny. And it's, then he people said think it like, literally oh, he's so three conscious. years ago. Yeah, yeah. I just, it's that, that part's crazy. But I do agree that like every creator has a lifespan. But in my head, I was like, He'll like Ludwig's always like top guy until he'll be out of the thing. He's still like relevant. He's still getting yeah, a ton of not. YouTube views. I mean, he's he's relevant, but he's not top guy. He's <laughs> we're, he's uh, it's yeah, over. but like his his YouTube channel, for example, is still doing really really well. And of course, uh, yeah. it's not like peak all time doing really well. But he's still literally getting like a million views per video, essentially, which is fucking right. insane. Um, yeah. but it's it just felt crazy to be in this universe they're like our bubble which is already like niche enough as it is and then mm-hmm. uh there'd be people in this bubble that i wasn't even aware of you know who should have won an award at the streamer awards um besides present company uh besides obviously besides present company i would never advocate for us terry schuster was, updates uh, baby <laughs> terry okay, schuster wait, updates why? you deserve this queen <laughs> for what anything anything they set their heart and mind well, to. they don't stream yet <laughs> <laughs> also you set that up like this was a segue into like a tweet that you've seen from them or something no 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 i just wanted to say that i thought it was you funny. just wanted to <laughs> shout them out for the streamer awards something that yeah, they couldn't the ever awards. be nominated for right ah uh, well they go <laughs> don't say never wow you're just and you're not a believer in terry schuster updates like i am uh, what would, you know, Jinxy streamed for 365 days to zero viewers, and you think Terry Schuster updates couldn't do it? Come on. I'm just trying to figure out what would Terry Schuster updates stream. Like the person what behind the account Terry Schuster updates completely stream agree that they could be a streamer, but streaming mm-hmm. as the persona of Terry Schuster updates, do they yeah. do like a, do they have an AI voice changer where they're Terry? Yeah, they're and a they... VTuber. And so yeah. it looks like it uses footage of Terry from Glee to like code Miko follow around the face. Right. Yeah. What games do they play? Do you think? Oh, they don't play games. They're, they're a yapping streamer. They just chat. Uh, so like specifically about Glee or do they nope, do it? Anything they want. Anything they want. Honestly, mostly politics, I would say. I think it would be fucking sick if they did it as though like they aren't a character and uh-huh. they are like it was actually Terry Schuster, Terry Schuster streaming and yeah. it's just like they react to like current events and stuff but as Terry Schuster would how would Terry Schuster react to Israel v Palestine you know what I mean it's like a <laughs> I crazy question I definitely I know how Terry Schuster that. updates would act because I follow the Twitter <laughs> Yeah, the the actual person behind the account. Yeah. I but I think they're they an artist. Do. They wouldn't they wouldn't let that affect them. It's how Terry Schuster. That's feels. what I'm saying. Yeah, but they yeah. but they also are posting that on that Twitter account. So they probably sure. would let that affect their character. So they they're not the perfect person for this ideal role that we're coming up with. Because let's face it, Terry Schuster is not pro Palestine. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. What? What do you mean? She's a I... fucking conspiracy psychopath. You think she's gonna be? Fucking so is Kanye Israel? West. And Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye West hates Jewish people. Uh, I, I think you're <laughs> conflating two different things. <laughs> I think you can be so wrong that it wraps around and it looks like you're right at a certain point. <laughs> um, didn't. Kanye also refused to speak out on the thing because he was like, you guys don't care about the fucking... The, yeah, but here's the thing. He hasn't seen 21 Jump Street 2. He hasn't seen 21 Jump Street 2, 22 Jump Street yet. And when he does, it's all going to be fine. Uh, sorry, what's that a reference to? You don't remember when he... He watched 21 Jump Street. Oh, that was the jo- film he fucking That was the saw, film he saw. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah, when he changed did the his- famous Change the Tune. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. We went off the booth and somehow yeah. have referenced 
everything that we shouldn't reference during yeah. this episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, this should, is the banned episode. They tried to take us down for this episode. Let's, hey, let's, I'm going to do one more thing that's sad. banned. I'm going to take a slurp from my straw. <laughs> I d- don't, actually don't. <laughs> Just stop using the fucking straw. That's crazy. Oh, you're not a fire. It's that old. or you're going to get the ice shaking. Do you want the ice shaking instead? That's so much better. Just put it up to your mouth and don't... <laughs> You're I'm gonna crunch the ice. That's not, that wasn't the ice. That was you making that noise on purpose. Do you want to know the cool things that are going to be in this episode? <laughs> I knew you would do that. I, I was like, I'll let him get it out of his system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. When okay, you're done. System. Are you done? What cool things are in this episode of Glee? Uh, first of all, there are some fucking bangers. Like, <laughs> uh, you say, if me you don't slurping say a straw is annoying, every that is annoying. Because yeah. I don't. Last episode was fucking musical songs about chairs, okay? This episode actually has bangers. We're back. No more okay. fucking cringe show tunes. Who gives a fuck about musicals? We only care about this musical doing covers of popular songs, you know? Okay. Yes. And speaking of popular songs, we have a celebrity guest this episode. Oh. Um, but I don't think I should spoil, so I won't. Yeah, I don't think you should. I want to I want to discover it. Um, I'm also I looked at the song list and I was like, "Oh no, I think Will Shoes to raps this episode." So No, not again. <laughs> uh, but so it's iconic, but maybe for the wrong reasons. Um we're also still in season 1 where I think most of the time like most of these songs were already planned and they'd already decided will schuster was going to be a rap guy you know oh so yeah. i think this is before they've like figured out that maybe he's kind of cringe and shouldn't be rapping or <laughs> this is the point where they like play into it because we're past episode 13 you know where like the season split into like two like mm-hmm. there was the first chunk and then the second chunk so maybe they're, they're aware of him being cringe and they'll like play on it i can't remember but it's gonna be cringe either way for us so uh and thank god no musical chairs well not musical chairs but musical songs about chairs um of course that's what we were most dreading do you remember any of that stance no 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 you don't remember the chairs no that's you actually this is not part of the podcast now. This is just me sure. worried. You should go to the doctors <laughs> and, and make sure that you're okay. I I completely... Things that don't need to hold space in my mind just go right in and out. Yeah, but that's not good. You should at least... When I... Like, I, I can... I completely understand that if they don't stay in your brain, right? Like, I wouldn't expect you to be able to tell me that there was uh, lots of songs about chairs last episode. But me sure. saying... There were lots of songs about chairs last episode. Should ring some bells because we spent the whole episode watching and then talking about it. That must have been someone else you watched with because I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, it was the other guy that I do a Glee podcast with. When we yeah, happen you to be on the same Perry, episode. You are, you are a pre-watch Perry. <laughs> um, I'm not a pre-watch Perry because I would have said correctly that two episodes ago didn't have a slur. You remember when I thought there was a slur oh, in the episode? You did. You kept saying that watch out for it and then it never happened. And then the whole time I was thinking about it. Yeah, so there is a slur coming. I don't think it's this episode, so I think we're good. But Got um, it. <laughs> it's right. going to be this episode now. <laughs> 2024. Yeah, sneak up on us. Um, okay, we're going to go watch Glee. Uh, Stans, how can they do that with us? They can watch this episode with us by signing up for the Patreon. At the lowest tier, it's only $5. You can add the extension. It will completely sync up Glee as long as you have Disney+, Plus, because that's what we watch it on. So you will hear what we're saying. You will see the episode. You can independently adjust the volume. It is a great time. I actually think it is the most valuable thing that we provide on this because we have fun watching the episodes. And if you don't believe me, Here's a clip from this episode right now. Oh no, Stans, I talked about it. Yo, VIP. <laughs> I hate that his thing is rap. It should be a rap. So they knew. And we're back. That episode, holy, that was a doozy, Stans. I have a feeling that you didn't enjoy it. <laughs> it was a doozy, but in a way I didn't enjoy. So I think we ended on a banger. Great performance. But oh, yeah, a quarter into the episode, you were like, what is actually happening here? This is so contrived. And I think you eventually let you like went with the flow and yeah. I fought it. You know what I mean? I never quite got on board with it enough to enjoy it as much as maybe other people would. Yeah. Let's try and set the stage because I know 
yeah. crazily, there are some people that don't fucking watch the I don't cater to them. If all. you don't watch the episodes with us, I don't cater to you. You have to remember every joke I made, including some very funny ones about Blake Lively. Uh, no, it's not even that they don't watch the episode with us. They don't watch the episode <laughs> fucking full stop. They don't know what oh, happened that's, in Glee that's, and they just listen to this podcast. Should be illegal, right? That's fucking to be perfectly honest. insane of them, but there are people that do it. Um, so shout out to you guys. Uh, but this isn't really for you necessarily. This is more like to give context for us, but also it helps you guys because we will sum up part of the plots because we do this every episode. So why not? Um, of course. So where should we start? Because as always, there's like three different plot lines. Uh, I think this episode, none of them were really substantial. Uh, oh, apart from one. one, There was one huge revelation that we, we need to talk about, Stan. You know, oh, you know yeah, huge to you. I feel like not actually that huge to like the Glee audience, but huge to you because you wouldn't stop kvetching about it. Dude. I cannot you... believe that last fucking episode, you made me not only get over it, but imagine Will Schuster had fucking died and re- been replaced with an entirely different new Will Schuster just so I could get over the fact that they're never going to address him cheating. And then they address him chasing the episode after. That's crazy. You know crazy. what's crazy? I have no idea what you're talking about. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Dude, Will died and they made, we got Will Schuster too. Do you not remember any of that? You know how some people will like, like get really high ago. and not remember things? I do that, but without getting high. That sounds like something I would say. It's funny to me. I find it well, funny actually, and enjoyable. Well, actually, I came up with the concept of Will Schuster 2, but you... Then I think you're funny and you're you. enjoyable. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you were like, uh, no, you need to stop mentioning it because it's really annoying me every time that you mention it. Um, it was very annoying. They're never going to bring it up, which is crazy because mm-hmm. I was when I was editing that episode, I was thinking about how many times at the like first seven episodes of this podcast you wouldn't shut the fuck up about how much you hated will schuster and i had to yeah. deal with that every single time i talk yeah. about it two episodes and you're like yep. dude stop bringing it up all right we all know oh and you my god too, he just won't crazy. stop yapping about it it's so crazy it's almost like we have a podcast where we have to talk about our opinions on the show or something Sheesh, it's crazy I stop only talking my about the opinions show. i would say um, uh yeah they did there was a bomb dropped yeah so they revealed the, mm-hmm. uh, to Emma, who was the only character it feels like that didn't know that he'd cheated, uh, she found out that he cheated. Um, yes. And did they take it seriously? Not really. They played it off for they laughs. They did. You keep saying like they're playing it off for laughs. There was a couple jokes in there, but I think it was a very serious moment. It wasn't that serious because she announced it in the fucking teacher's lounge because her therapist sue sylvester told her to it was real for her but the writers didn't need to make that happen they also didn't need to make it happen whilst will was talking to a random teacher that we've never seen uh grieving over a husband's death well that's why he was talking to her because her husband died and he's a good man and that's why i don't think you understand that's also annoying because it makes it seem (laughs) like she's the piece of shit for bringing up the fact that he did the bad thing yeah yeah, and a, a I lot of agree people, including stands, have got on my case about it not being cheating. Yeah, I don't give a shit. It's not about that. It's the the whole. Hey, I didn't tell you that I did this thing whilst you were literally like worried about losing your virginity to me. And I know that they yeah. weren't officially together. And I know that he didn't actually sleep with her or whatever. Stop defending right. this piece of shit, okay? Wow, you know you you were the Schuster lover early on. I want you to know that. I used before I remembered that he was a piece of shit. I knew there you go. I knew that he was cringe and I knew that mm-hmm. there were like some crazy scenes that we haven't got to that are in later seasons where he is like I, I think he, there's a whole character arc where he fat shames no slut shames or uh, the opposite of slut shaming. He refuses to let a person be in the glee club if they don't like go on a bra wear a bra on stage or something. What? Uh, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Um, uh-huh. So I knew he becomes that, and there are like memes of like it's basically season four, five, and, and onwards that he's like fucking psychotic. Um, okay, but I didn't realize. I just thought he was cringe to start off with. I didn't realize how bad it got. He was a bad person. Yeah, he and understand. he just is yeah. a bad person, and. Uh, if they keep on like it annoys me that they'll do a really really crucial plot like the cheating thing and then leave it so long that we think they're never going to address it and then bring it up and 
not really wrap it up in the episode and kind of not treat it with any sort of like grandiose. I mean, act. she respected her value. She said, I appreciate you for apologizing, but like, hey, it's not enough for me. Yeah, that bit was perfect. She, uh, yeah. we literally, as uh, Will went into we apologize with flowers, yeah. we were like, oh, they're just going to wrap it up this episode. And they didn't. So, but that, I think that's a good thing because mm. there needs to be like, he was a piece of shit regardless of your opinions on fucking cheating or whether you know he he did lie to her or yeah. lying through omission um about someone that he's supposed to really care about and she was like working her way as she says in the episode with a therapist to try and basically be in an okay enough position to date him True. meanwhile he was sleeping with other people two other people wait but he didn't sleep with april Rhodes, but everyone said that so yeah that one was cringe i mean he kind of did because they did like a song thing it felt like he did to be honest that one was cringe because also at the time of that happening he wasn't like him and emma had already had the conversation being like hey maybe we should take some time and and and, you know i'm not ready for this so Mm -hmm. they weren't like together together then but they'd had that conversation in the same episode after he'd slept with the fucking teacher you know so true oh, not slept sorry made out but he- uh yeah he's sl- slept with you're right sorry the other way he slept with april Rhodes. he made out with the <laughs> yeah yeah he, nothing sexual yeah. happened with april they fucking made well, out well not nothing with, they, they with sang the a duet together brother so, yeah, it was very <laughs> very sexual speaking of uh singing equaling sex uh the okay. other plot line in the episode that i thought your was favorite crazy, plot line, <laughs> yeah, yeah was um so there's a whole entire fucking thing about the glist, which uh, I couldn't get over that they kept on calling it the glist. It was you want to describe the glist to the people, just yeah, to be clear. Yeah, it was a list of Glee people, hence glist, um, mm-hmm. who were like ranked on sexual points. Like there was a point system, but it, I don't think it was like meant to be because Rachel had minus points, so it's not like people that you've been with, right? She's been with at least one person, and it's crazy she'd have five minors. So is it like a, a scale of how sexy you are? I don't really know. It didn't really make I th- any sense. I thought it was just like how, like not only how many people you've been with, but like what you've done with them was kind of my understanding of so it. So how do you get minus points? Uh, I think it's, and like how many people want to do things with you, maybe? <laughs> that bit, <laughs> that, like, that's kind of what I was meaning by the like sexy part, I guess. But, I see. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was... Uh, a, all of those things combined so that it make that then yes you can definitely get minus points but it's crazy that rachel will get minus points she's they're living in a world where she's not attractive that's crazy um, she's sneaky hot is what exa- he said. i actually <laughs> agree she's got a sleeper build but for sexiness <laughs> um yeah uh and in this episode to make her not get minus five points and like go up the rankings everyone mm-hmm. in the episode the whole glee club their fucking motives are to go up the glist basically yes um and rachel does this by convincing all of the people that she's been with in the show so far including yeah, her the male boyfriend, uh yeah. to do a performance without all of them knowing and then show it to everyone don't really get the whole without them knowing but then showing it to them but i guess she has to show it for people to see it so her reputation it was also her up. like glee uh homework right it was like rehab a song so i think yeah. she kind of like did both yeah. and it is it is very funny we said this during the episode that uh she that like in her mind she would go up in the rankings from doing a musical video with three people. it is very cool yeah very, as very though cool. like that gives her a bad reputation she's not like, I could film a fucking music video with three guys. It doesn't mean I've been sucking and fucking them, right? Like, it doesn't do anything. How does how does this help a situation at all? Hey, maybe you have, you know? Who knows? I would hey, say. If I had, I don't think it would defend <laughs> my reputation. That's all I'm saying, okay? I see. That's right. Um, but it affects the universe that she's in enough for her current boyfriend to be really fucking mad and for Finn to walk out and say, how could you do this? Which... Not even be really mad. Like, he broke up with her. It was the end of them. Did they break up? I felt like it yes. was more like a, well, what I'm not with you right about? now kind of thing. No, no, they're broken up. They're done. This feels like a situation where next episode they're together. No. Or like two I, episodes I down I cannot the imagine them being together. Hey, to maybe, be I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I misread the situation. We'll see. We're actually very close to the end of the season. Um, so things could heat up and maybe... 
it just doesn't feel like that's the end of them. Do you get what I'm saying? It feels that's like the they end need of them. more because Jesse's so fucking hot. He's that's because like, Jesse is going to get with Quinn and adopt her baby. <laughs> You're, you heard it up. here first. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's not the stepfather. He's the father of the stepdad. Thank you very so much. You sick. understood. Yep. Um, but yeah, that a whole thing, uh, it was annoying on so many levels. I think the most annoying part is the, uh, the male lead can cheat, in inverted commas. I'm doing fucking air quotes. Uh, sure. The male lead can cheat on his significant other um, and basically get away with it and everything's fine. Um, but the female lead can film a video with a Make guy a without them breaking up, which is crazy. Yeah. And I, I do think that is a sign of like it being very unfair and a sign of the times. You know? Yeah, I know they're teenagers, and it kind of fits the their characters to be like overdramatic and whatnot. There was the other part of the glist, uh, which was the, the fucking. The worst plotline we've maybe ever had in Glee, uh, which is safe. It didn't even, not only did it not make sense, the payoff was nothing. The payoff was a joke about them like performing the church. So what we're talking about is our good friend, Kurt, leading the crew of people who weren't even on the list to do something naughty, to do something bad. And that was perform a song by MC Hammer in the library because that was like the wildest thing he could think of. It was not a good performance. It was not a good song. in hammer pants. uh, Yeah, they had the big puffy pants. Yeah, like uh, the drop crotch. This is a a test stance. Who was in the crew? Name them all. Oh, yeah, that's easy. That's Mercedes. That's Kurt. That's Artie. That's... Um, uh, Brittany S. Pierce, and that is the girl with a lisp. Uh, no, because she doesn't have a lisp, <laughs> and she the thing that she does have, she doesn't have anymore. So <laughs> she's gothic. What does she, she have? Gothic. She had a stutter, and it, what's she was her name? It. Tina. Yeah, Tina. Tina's the one. I, I'll never remember her name. Uh, I think you've remembered her name quite consistently. So never, never gonna remember her name. <laughs> this might be the first actual only time you've forgotten her name. Actually, so. yikes! Who? Sorry, who? <laughs> um, but yeah, all, all of those were fucking doing a. It was weird. They made it seem like they were gonna do an orgy in the library. Um, yeah, I think you're just like modern day pilled where you saw that and you're like, whoa, but I don't know. Well, they were like, they were going to rock the walls and glee all over the place, I think is what they said or something, which. And that's what they did. They yeah, gleed all over the place. Hindsight, like, you're the one being weird about they it. They did do that, but they were yeah. making it sound like they were about to fucking go crazy, you know? Eh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. But the, so that was, I don't know, cringe, boring. The the dance and song wasn't great and it went on for too long because it was, I, I it felt like it was supposed to be like a, a a little 30 second gag and they did the whole song. It was like, well, this is not, you know. They um, do that often in this show where they'll do like a little bit of a song and be like, oh, that was great. And then they'll do another two and a half minutes and I'm like, I no, would rather be doing you, anything. That's a you issue. This one wasn't a you issue. This one, Yikes. it was just I'll say it wasn't, a, it wasn't a me issue. That's for sure. That's what I'm saying. Wait, I didn't. You're right. I, I heard you wrong. <laughs> no, I, I said honestly, this I one I'm wasn't tired. a you issue is what I'm saying. But the, I woke up, started streaming at seven. It's about six. I'm 11 <laughs> hours deep of streaming work uh, and podcast. Uh, hey, my I'm brain not is blaming fried. you. I was just confused because yeah. you. Yeah, I confused you because I said a thing that wasn't disagreed. true. It wasn't real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was not a real thing that happened. So yeah, the, but the that plot line actually had a positive uh, like bookend because Did it was involved around Sue Sylvester having a video of her oh. leaked online. That, that got like shit three was... million views, which is crazy. Yeah. It was surely something. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's just no through line in this that made me care. Well, what, you know, what, like, what was Olivia the video, Stan? Explain it for the people. Yeah. So when Kurt was cleaning her office or something, he used her key to unlock a drawer, found a video of her doing not I want to dance with somebody doing physical uh, by Olivia Newton John. Yes. uh, And dancing in an embarrassing way. They leaked it on YouTube. It got three million views. She was miserable because all she went from this person with an air of fear and authority to a person that was being laughed at uh she actually used that for some weird reason which i know pisses you off she actually channeled that into a way to be better so that's why she is the one that helped ellen or whatever the hell her name is emma and she is also the one uh, she also forgave kurt when he told her that he was the one who did it it was just all around 
I didn't like all around. I didn't like it. Well, no, it was it, it was funny because it led to very funny scenes with her doing her monologues. It Sue Sylvester being Sue Sylvester, right? It was she's yeah. always funny. It wasn't the funniest she's been, but it was still funny. Correct. Um, yeah, and it was interesting to see her in like, a, oh my god, everyone's laughing at me. It was funny. Um, but the the best part was fucking Olivia Newton-John out of nowhere calling her and being like, damn, let's film a fucking music video and then doing the music video. And then video. doing it. And then doing the music video. Yeah, that that's was, sick. I will that's say, so crazy. Fu- that's like, but it was too long. Too long. But it's a song, Stan. It wasn't like... The, you know, this is a TV show. This is a TV show. You can just do a minute of the song. It's, it's a funny. musical it. TV show. They're doing the songs. It makes sense. Uh, that one was fine uh, because it was A, a banger, be really funny and see they're like parodying the music video that already exists. Um, right. And I will say, I looked at the music video, the actual one while we were watching it and it is crazy. You should watch it. Uh, I've seen it like previously, but not enough to remember like the, there's one the point where she's just like, it's like she is a guard at Guantanamo Bay and she is waterboarding this kind of like fat guy working out by <laughs> slamming his head into the mat like 10 times and hitting him with talcum powder. It is so weird. That's so sick. Um, yeah, I don't know about sick, but it is something. Well, they they recreated the music video um, and actually got Olivia Newton, like real Olivia Newton John. Very funny. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and I lo- uh, thank you for the for sure, just to confirm that it was really her. You were like, there's no way. For sure, it. brother. Hey, I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe it was Trump and they AI'd him to not be Trump and it was Olivia Newton John, but it wasn't. Yo, it was Trump. to tie it into the beginning of the episode. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then at the end of the episode, you said it before, I think Kurt comes up to her and is like, hey, we leaked the thing to try and get higher up on the list because, I don't know, being in trouble with a teacher gets you points at sexuality. Not really Mm -hmm. sure how that works, uh, but she was fine with it because she'd been able to meet Olivia Newton-John, which, hell yeah. Right. She was happy. She had like uh, yeah. reached catharsis at that point. Yeah. I, I thought those bits were funny. Um, the bits that were fucking insane that felt mm-hmm. like uh, that you mentioned that like a quarter of the way through, I was like, am I having a fever dream? What the fuck is going on with this yeah, episode? Yeah, like what's this happening crazy. Was yeah. the whole fucking CSI law and order fucking oh, murder yeah. mystery shit that they were doing with the glitch. And that was all for the joke of them being like, have you been watching too much law and order? And it's like, this isn't a funny joke. Why did we have to do this? Yeah. <laughs> Why was I forced to sit through this it was so weird there was like at the start of the episode they set up that will schuster has to figure out who is doing the glist and also yeah. they said that it had to have been one of the glee members they never really explained why it was as because though- they used the password i tried to explain this to you you were mad because use they the used the password, password. what's that mean? Use the password the password to the account that uploaded it was glee club for, okay, what do you mean by password? Because how do they know what the password is from? Because they have a key logger. Didn't you hear Figgins or whatever his name is? A key. There was. I think it was just the fucking address at the bottom, right? That was printed on the piece of paper. Just had Glee Club at the end. Couldn't someone just, if they're writing a list about the Glee Club, wouldn't their fucking thing be to do with the Glee Club? What is that? Yeah, but it was that no. It was their, the... specifically their password. Their password for the account that made it. But that doesn't make any. Uh, I'm gonna maybe. Uh, okay, I will. I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go back because I can't remember exactly what happened during the episode. I'm going to go sure. back and And insert, you're going to see that him he's going to say exactly that thing I just said. I'm going to insert me here explaining why you're wrong in the future. Do it. I want you to do it cuz you're going to realize you're going to go, "Oh, my no, bad." Because what well, it's either one of two things. It's either mm-hmm. they had the password written at the bottom of the piece of paper and that's insane. That. Or you're saying there's a keylogger or whatever, and they could tell that it was uh, the password had Glee Club in it. Fucking oh, yeah. anyone could just make the password Glee Club. Why does that prove that it's the Glee Club? I mean, Glee they Club? could, but who who would do that when they don't know they're being watched? You know what I mean? But they were posting the list, so they knew they were being watched. That's the whole point. Mm, they didn't know they were being like, watched. Like, if you're going to post a list on people of the Glee Club, surely the most obvious person is not someone from the Glee Club, and they're trying to do it to fucking ruin the Glee Club. Okay, yo, editor Joe from the future. Uh, so I pulled up the episode, and there are two bits of evidence that kind of got intertwined, and n- neither me or Stans really knew what the fuck was going on. Principal Figgins said that someone logged in using the library computer with the password Glee Club to make the list, uh, which I still stand by the fact that literally anyone could make that as their password. And obviously, if you were going on to make a list about the Glee Club, 
you would just make a fake account and have the password be Glee Club. That was my argument in the episode. Still stands. Get fucked. My second get fucked is the bit that I thought was crazy was I I kept on mentioning that it was like it was printed at the bottom because I remembered seeing like the words Glee Club written at the bottom of the list in like a URL. And Stans was like, nah, 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 it wasn't that. It was a keylogger or some shit. But look at this screenshot. That's from the episode that was at the bottom of the list. It was like the fucking URL was printed at the bottom of the sheet that was posted everywhere. So it's doubly fucking stupid. And the password being Glee Club does not confirm it being a member of the Glee Club. That's fucking insane. Because again, the person that is making the list on the Glee Club would obviously have a password that is related to Glee Club to separate. They're not going to have their fucking first and last name as their password or whatever, right? They'd have something that is only related to the account that they're making. So the Glee Club makes sense. But then the show's stupid because why would the fucking, why would the list have a URL at the bottom that says this? Why is this? It says Glee Club. It says the IP address and then Glee Club. I just don't understand that was what I was annoyed at in the episode because it was like, none of this is real. It's like the show doesn't understand how the internet works. When you press print on a list, it wouldn't automatically just put your fucking IP address and the password that you use for the library computer. That wouldn't be printed at the bottom of the fucking piece of paper, right? Unless this is some 2009 cringe shit and every time you use a library computer, it prints off a fucking URL at the bottom that doxes you. I could be wrong. Hey, let me know in the comments. But all I know is I was right because I'm always right. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, to be spoiler alert, it was the person who put themselves at the top of the list. So it was like very obvious. It was very it. obvious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you think it would just be the first person that you talk to, but it wasn't. Yeah, um, it wasn't because it's a it was a it was a it's a bad TV show. And it was a worse episode. <laughs> That's what I no, wait, say. no, 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 not bad TV show. This isn't a bad TV show because we've well, been enjoying it for most of these episodes. Correct. You me you, enjoying it does not preclude it from being a bad TV show. Uh, do you actually think this is a bad TV show? Wait, we're getting fucking... What the I, hell? I think this is a bad episode, and I think that a quarter of the episodes I very much enjoyed, half of them I haven't cared for, and then the other quarter I probably have actively disliked. Um, I see Which you, is a fair balance. Yeah, I think I can enjoy something that is bad, and I don't think you yeah. can enjoy something that's bad. I can enjoy something that's bad sometimes, but I think sometimes it's too bad. It's like, I don't need this to be the room. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to be the room, I should say. Like the episodes that you don't like, the, like all the times that I'm screaming at like the plot lines being cringe or whatever, I'm still having yeah. a good time. Like I, if, it, yeah. if I am experiencing an emotion about something, it's probably because I like it, you know? Right. Uh, and I will say half the time, I am actually just mad. Like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm mad. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah. What else is there? Uh, Jesse St. James broke up. Uh, they did the MC Hammer thing. She helped everyone. Emma and Shu. Santana was an angel, but she wasn't in the episode otherwise, which was kind of weird. Uh, yeah, which is weird. So she wrote an episode about the glist. I was just about to say, an episode about sexual pro- promiscuity, you'd think she'd be yeah. like mentioned a lot. She Front and center, you would think. Yeah. yeah. She's like the go-to yeah. character for that current. That's her only personality. Yeah, it's like all her is. jokes. That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like, at least Britney is also dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which kind of changes things. Yeah. Um, I did like the fact that Britney was involved with um the delinquents of the group, the fucking outsiders. Kurt yeah, they're kind of mixing well. up the roles so that maybe she can be more present in other episodes. Yeah, it's great. Um, spoiler alert: she like becomes more part of their crew, so that makes sense. Um, I, oh, that's good. That, this is like a, the first time of her being part of this, and she becomes part of it more in future episodes and stuff. So, um, nice. that was nice to see. But uh, yeah, apart from some really good songs, and it was like fucking awful song, awful song, banger, banger, which the like the set list, which was crazy. Um, yes, I completely agree. But I do think every time that Shu raps, it's awful. But like, I'm I'm almost glad that I've seen it. 
you know, because of how bad it is. <laughs> it's like a car accident. Exactly. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to know. I want to look death in the eye at one point. You know? But like, it's, yeah, like maybe not a car accident because I don't think if I saw a video of a car accident, I wouldn't, and it was like really bad. Yeah. I wouldn't send a video of that to my friend and be like, oh my God, you have to watch this. Right? Yeah. But, but you'd peek though. You would, you would look at it. Yeah. But what I'm saying, like Will Schuster, like the raps are so bad that I could see myself sending this to a friend and being like, dude, have you ever seen this show? I've just rewatched this. Holy shit, this scene's fucking Oh, that's crazy. so funny because that's I'd do the opposite. I would never send it to a soul because I wouldn't want them to know that I've watched it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd, I'd almost want to make them suffer in the same way. I do that to you all the time. I'll send you shit because I'm like, and it's, I oh, know yeah, a lot that times you it's don't want to see Dude, this. I made the perfect <laughs> joke for you today and you weren't even there. And oh, it was about that was stupid it? ass meme you like, a kid named Finger or whatever. Oh, wait, uh, what was the joke? I can't remember now. This is This is so not the right <laughs> forum for it bad, uh, yeah but you yeah. you would have loved it. it was during time guesser if you're oh. a time guesser andy it was during the tour de france part of time guesser i'll go back and i'll listen to the joke and i'll appreciate it well i do think we've covered everything from the episode it is mm-hmm. crazy because uh i'll probably edit it out which is uh sometimes a lot of the times when i'm trying to figure out if we've done everything i will mm-hmm. edit that out because it's just us sat here like have we done everything? And then just thinking about yeah. things for a bit. Um, but it's not often we've, it feels like we've not really talked about much that actually happened in the episode, but we have actually talked about everything, right? Usually yeah, usually we're like skipping through things. This time I feel like we were pretty thorough. Yeah, we, we literally covered, I think, every single second that happened. The only interesting thing was the reveal of like Emma now knows that Will has cheated, which... Mm-hmm. Oh, Ken is back, by the way, and he put on some weight. Oh, Ken was back really like one Ken fucking... Watch. Uh, uh, baby girl watch. Line, I'm sorry, baby, baby, baby boy, baby mode, baby, baby girl. wife, baby girl, <laughs> baby <Really? laughs> mode. <laughs> yeah, he's he's baby mode is back too. Baby mode activated. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> God, you are tired, dude. <laughs> I am. I'm exhausted, and I have a I have a meeting in ten minutes. Another one at six oh, p.m. I've dude. been up. I been up at six. I fucking stream stupid shit. I know it sounds like, hey, what was me? My life is hard. I am so hey, tired oh, um okay this episode i'm gonna try and get out for tomorrow um that's crazy it's like five in the morning your time uh yeah but i'm i'm spend all of tomorrow editing it's also okay 2 a.m it. it's not five <laughs> um, it's 7 a.m your time but the right. thing that you said to me before we did this the the, the cool yeah. thing um yeah. you said that's getting announced tomorrow right i i i wouldn't just in case it isn't <laughs> uh but if i make sure this goes out after that does yeah, but what if that doesn't go out and then you can't put this out tomorrow? Also, you could leak it on here. What the fuck, you know? No I'm, I'm not a leaker. I'm at not a leaker, end, bro. At the end of this, and no. it's your show. Okay, dude. you have to add 15 minutes of silence and then I'll, then I'll leak like a Marvel movie. <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, if you're listening to this now, I have a cool show coming on Saturday. Hopefully there will be an announcement soon and it'll be cool. Um. Okay, hear me out. I'm not going to hear you out. Okay, the, you're so, I'll say it, stands. I don't like saying uh, pussy or bitch because- sure. uh, then don't. You don't have to. Because <laughs> I think that they are very misogynistic words to use. But I would agree. But it is unfortunate that there aren't any replacements for those words, so I only mm-hmm. use them in extreme circumstances. You're being such sure. a pussy-ass bitch, dude. I think it's like, I don't, uh, I want to let it go out the way it is. I don't need to leak anything here. You know what I mean? You could, and it doesn't better. I was just like, you this just would be a cool thing want me to leak. for the I have no, 300 I have no... people that would get to this point. The, yeah. Uh... You know what's a cool thing for these 300 people? A great episode that we just made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know i'm just hey i'm a man of the people and stans hates you all so i think we end most of our episodes with you right hating on, the brother people and me being like fuck you <laughs> yeah yeah That's that crazy. is exactly what happens um all right then close us out with a catchphrase that isn't from your new show ladies and gentlemen can you smell what the rock is cooking it's Bye. crazy because you're doing a WWE show. <laughs> no, he's admitting to it. He's telling me the name of the show right now. <laughs> Bye.